In the small town of Willow Creek, nestled deep within the mountains, rumors of black magic had always swirled. Few dared to speak of it openly, but everyone knew of the old hermit, Caleb, who lived in the forest. Caleb was a recluse, his home a decaying cabin surrounded by symbols drawn in the dirt. No one had seen him in years, but strange occurrences kept the townsfolk on edge, animals found mutilated, crops withering without reason, and children whispering about seeing shadows move where none should be. Jake, a young man from the town, was skeptical. It's just superstition, he told his friends. There's no such thing as black magic. Caleb's just an old man. We should check it out. One night, driven by curiosity and bravado, Jake and his friends ventured into the forest, determined to prove there was nothing to fear. Armed with flashlights and laughter, they made their way to Caleb's cabin. The air grew thick as they approached, the wind carrying a foul stench. But still, they pressed on. When they reached the clearing, the cabin stood before them like a rotting corpse, the wooden beams sagging, windows boarded up. Jake hesitated but steeled himself, pushing open the creaking door. The inside was worse than they imagined, dust-covered surfaces, strange objects hanging from the ceiling, and walls covered in symbols that seemed to pulse in the dim light. See? It's just an old place, Jake said, though his voice lacked the confidence it once had. His friends were less sure, their eyes darting around nervously. As they explored, Jake noticed a large, blackened book resting on a table. It seemed ancient, its pages tattered and covered in an unknown script. Against his better judgment, he opened it. The moment the book was opened, the air in the room shifted. The symbols on the walls began to glow, and a low, guttural whisper filled the space. Jake's friend screamed, backing toward the door, but Jake was frozen in place, his eyes locked on the pages. A dark figure began to take shape behind him, a tall, shadowy form with glowing eyes, its presence so malevolent it sent shivers down their spines. Jake, we need to go, one of his friends shouted, but Jake couldn't move. His body was no longer his own. The figure loomed over him, its whispers growing louder. The cabin seemed to pulse with dark energy as the symbols on the walls writhed like snakes. Jake's friends bolted out the door, but when they looked back, they saw the cabin's windows turn pitch black. The door slammed shut behind them, leaving Jake trapped inside. For hours, the townsfolk heard terrible screams coming from the forest, but none dared to investigate. When morning came, the cabin had collapsed into a heap of rotting wood, and Jake was never seen again. His friends returned to the town, haunted by what they had witnessed, but no one believed their story. Years passed, and the town tried to forget. But every so often, at night, residents would hear faint whispers carried on the wind, and shadows that did not belong to the trees would move through the forest. They knew Caleb's magic was still alive, and that whatever Jake had unleashed was far from over.